Okay everybody, and welcome to your second Python and MySQL tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a table and inserting data to the table. So where we last left off was actually creating the database. Um, so what we want to do now is create a table and insert data to the table. So this should be pretty fun. Um, let me first just get uh, my PHP admin up. Okay, um, anyways, so what we'll do now is we'll comment this out. What we did before. Control one is to come out of a block an anaconda. It might be different in idle or whatever you're using. So what we initially want to do is actually copy this and paste it back here and get rid of that forward or backslash rather. And then uncomment that out. Okay, so we're gonna add our database name now. So db equals uh, let's say what we did before. So it was tutorial tutorial underscore database one okay and the next thing we want to do make sure our commas are there the next thing we want to do is create a cursor class so cursor class equals pi my sql dot cursors dot dict cursor so the dict cursor is just going to return the result of whatever we query as a dictionary. Um, you can use an SS cursor. Uh, the difference between them, basically, uh, the SS cursor you use for more complex scenarios. So if you're running a lot of data um, or, or going over a slow network or something like that, or I mean, you have a larger, more complex problem, you should use the SS cursor. But for the DIC cursor, um, it's just a simple one we can use for this case. So we want to make sure we have that on there, though. So Next, what we want to do is actually create a table. So we're going to do the same try and finally loop. Okay, and I'll just finish this out. Connection dot close because it's always a good idea to close out our connection when we're done doing or executing whatever we want to do. Um, so same thing with connection dot cursor as cursor. Okay, so what do we want to do? Um, we actually have to execute now. Um, the table that we want to make this like before. So cursor dot execute. Okay. Um, now what do we want to do? We we're going to execute our SQL query. So we're going to actually make a variable for the table that we're going to create. Um, so SQL query is equal to, um, and this is going to be our syntax. Just like before, we want it in all caps, just like an SQL, and we're going to actually program an SQL. So create table if not exist. Okay. So what is going to be the table name? Uh, let's call it, I don't know. Let's do, try to think real quick. We can do a table on stock data. Okay. So we'll do S data just for shits and gigs. Um, now, I'm going to make it in the format of like if we're pulling in data from Google Finance or something like that. So our first column is going to be called date and date will you let's say we're using an, uh, an epoch timestamp or Unix timestamp. So that's going to be an int. OK, um, now we're going to make an open column and that's going to be a decimal and oops, decimal and that's going to be. 18 comma 4 so that's just going to be 18 digits allowed before the decimal and then 4 after um, so we'll do this again high same thing decimal then we'll do 18 comma 4 I'm trying to give you like a real life schema uh, for those of you who may not be familiar with the term schema it's basically how your database is structured um, so when we're making the columns you have to take into consideration uh, the data types um, just for future reference because that's actually going to make a huge difference if you have a lot of data. The schema really matters and I know I'm not doing any sort of database design or, or graphical representation of this but it's very important to take into consideration the design of your database if you're going to be using it quite frequently. You have a lot of data you're trying to query it. Um, just something to keep in mind. So anyways, so open, high, low and that's going to be decimal and then uh, 18 comma 4 okay and then open high low close and that's going to be decimal 18 comma 4 and let's do volume that's just going to be an 8 okay so that should be good um, 
You can do this with variables as well. I might do that later. I might do actually making a database, a real database for stock data, and we're gonna have to actually use variables in this case to create tables. But anyways, um, this should be fine. So let's see if this executes okay. Um, now it seems like we have a syntax error. Uh, okay, so I can tell where that is. So create table if not exists. Hmm. Let's see. I'm sure there's some type of syntax error. Okay, give me one second. Just making sure everything's spelled correctly. Um, ah, I found it. Okay, forgot the comma. Save this, run it. Boom, there we go. So let's go into PHP my admin and see what we got. And boom, look at that. We have our table and we have all our columns right here. So I think I'm gonna leave the video at this. Um, in the next video, we will go into the table and actually insert data. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned for the next one. See you later.